Hey Buzzy friends, welcome back to another new video. So today I'm going to be telling you some plants that I regret buying. Now honestly, I love, love these plants. I really, really do. It's just if I would, if I can go back in time and save a couple dollars, I would have never ever get these plants again. And surprisingly, as you can see right now, the number one is this beautiful-ish variegated maranta it's one of my favorites and it was one of my longest wish list plant i got it at a local nursery stunning obsessed with it medibugs love 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 this plant and succulents but they love the marantas um it's so hard and then it really doesn't like tap water i have other calatheas that do perfectly fine so with them it's too far though it, it do perfectly fine with tap water this one just doesn't like it and it was honestly so so beautiful and it's still one of my favorite plants but some maybe it's just not meant to be <laughs> i'm gonna do my best it needs a really good grooming to be honest like i need to remove all these dead foliage treat it and keep an eye out on it maybe take some cuttings of it so i have some backups just in case this one goes downhill but there is a lot of new leaves coming in. You can like literally see that new leaf and then the new one unfurling just right now next to it. It's doing pretty good. Like, it's just, it's so, I guess the reason why I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it again is because it's so finicky. It's for me and my environment. It's, it's, way, it's way too demanding and it stresses me out. <laughs> it doesn't take neglect really good. Like a lot of, a lot of my other plants that I have but it's still one of my favorites it's like um it's it's confusing i know but uh, would i get one no it will be really really difficult not to get it if it's a beautiful plant <laughs> yeah i i wouldn't get the barricade marenzo to be honest it's just so it's beautiful but also the background i just in the background you can move the background but <laughs> it's really really pretty it's just so finicky and uh, i give it top water I was always using fish tank water and it was beautiful and then uh, as soon as I went to tap water because like excuse me went downhill real fast next one it's this beautiful Chinese omani plant it's literally so gorgeous such a beautiful plant uh, maybe this one's kind of cute but <laughs> another finicky one I don't know what it is back then I would kill them like nothing and now it's alive I had it for so long but what i am dealing with this one is i don't know i see a lot of other ones online and they look so beautiful whenever i buy them in the stores they look so good them nice but every time i bring it home i put it in a nice bright and direct spot i give it some good amount of light and i always water it when it's dry but not too dry and that's how i was able to keep it alive ish it also has a lot of melly bugs sadly <laughs> i didn't want it to be a negative video but it is this is kind of like a little sad moment to be honest but it, it's sad i i know if i give it even more love on it and more of my time it, it would look nice but even then if i give it a, like um nice to a on a window what's gonna happen it's gonna go like all the leaves in one direction unless you spin it like you can even see like the melly bugs like it just looks bad the, the, it has a lot of new leaves coming in though that's that's the bright side and I love how this plant produces so many babies, which is super duper fun. But I don't know. And then the the stems they snap so easily, like <laughs> like it's so fragile. <laughs> like I, uh, it's so sad though. It, it looks a lot like the raindrop peperonia. If you have seen that one, I haven't seen one for a hot minute. Oh my god, I haven't seen one for a hot minute from the stores. The raindrop peperonia but it's not and that one is a way way it's a lot easier to look up to compared to this one but mine just got way too big and it started to look ugly and i had to give it to my mom <laughs> but later on i think i have a cutting of it i do i do have a cutting it's like a small little baby um it's because some honestly some plants i like them they look a lot more cuter when they're smaller and then when they get big they start to look ugly um but some other plants it's the other way around like when they're small they don't look that good or they're not that impressive but the bigger they get the nicer it is like Monsteras, um, or or any vining plant when they get bigger and more lush and full, they look super duper nice. But this one is just, and I always try, I always try. I see it, I'm like, it's so pretty, but it just does that. 
It's, it is thirsty. I watered it, like, when was it? Four or three days ago. And it's on a very, very bright spot. Not where it doesn't get direct sunlight. Well, it's gonna scorch, but you can see, like, how I have it. This is a window, and it's over here, because, like, look at the back. <laughs> you see, like, less leaves. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's this guy. He's, like, I don't know his name, but he's, like, very iconic with the Chinese money plants. It's, it's his, he has, but he, it's because he has it outside. They're, like, so, it's so plump and lush and beautiful and massive and it has like so many babies people also what they do they let it grow because these do get tall and you remove the the leaves from the bottom and then the babies will come from the from the bottom and it's like a cute little tree with like bushes on the bottom kind of vibes that's not what it is but it looks like it and it's really really cool which is why i always wanted one but it's just hard this one this one is really really cute and it's a little baby like i like it like in propagation stations they just look so good and cute. Next one is this variegated Burley Marks Variegata. I think so. It is a really, really pretty plant. I do love this plant, but it's it, the grow, it's grow habit. It's so ugly. <laughs> I don't know what it is because I have chopped it a lot. And what happens whenever you take a cutting from a plant, instead of being one, it comes out two or three. And that's the case on this plant. Do you see how many? I chopped it a lot of times. Maybe I messed it up. I don't know. Because I do have the um, the non variegated form. And it's a beautiful lush plant. This one is like... I don't know. I don't know. I think I might take a... I, I have cuttings. But it was like back then. It was like, like... I ended up repotting the cuttings in pots. And then I moved. And the plants just got lost. And a lot of them died. But it's such a beautiful plant. Like, look at the leaves. It has a lot of... It has a... It's doing really good. It's putting a lot of new leaves. Like, an insane amount. But I just hate the way it's, it's growing. And I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. But I just wanted it to be, like, a nice bushy plant. But it's, it's going up. And that's how a lot of plants do. Like, syngoniums. Like, you see them, like, in nice bushy pots. But they bind down. So, we're gonna find out. It's a pretty plant though. I'm very happy that I have it because like the leaves are just so pretty. But the plant itself, no. <laughs> okay, I know, it sounds so negative. I, that's why I don't like filming this kind of videos because like... It's just, it's just I, I'm not really positive when I talk about it because it's a, it's a negative topic. I'm doing my best, y'all. Okay, next one is the Hoya Chelsea. I just don't like the way it looks. I just don't. I'm sorry. It, 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 it looks it looks way too basic to me it looks like leaves from the trees and i just pick them up and i put them in a pot it's way too simple for me and i love simple i love basic plants like i love my golden puzzles um this is just not it for me i don't know i don't know <sighs> if, if it was like a bushy plant or it was like bending down then it would look a lot better but this is not it <laughs> it's just it i don't like it i don't and i try to like it but it's just and it's super slow but i do know that i have my hoyas outside and it's growing like crazy i water them daily yes daily they're hanging too like so that they're like there is air around it and they're in bright and direct lights very bright and direct lights and um it's humid outside and warm they're it's, they're growing like crazy uh, my Hoya Oavara, and then my other Hoya, I forgot what that one's called, and then my other Hoya. I have like four or five Hoyas outside, and they're thriving. And then the backyard, I have my Barricada Hoyas, which are also thriving. I love those so much, but they did got burnt, so I had to chop them, and then let them flush out new growth, which... Well, it looks kind of bad right now, but within like one or two months, or maybe three months, they will look really, really nice. And even more full, because I chopped it. Um, I just, I don't like this plant. <laughs> I don't. It's doing good though, like it's green. It looks okay, I just don't like it. Next up, and it's the last one. I, I just wanna finish this video so bad cause like, it's so negative. <laughs> but I feel like we all have that one plant that we just, we wouldn't buy it again. I, if I say Hoya Chelsea, I wouldn't get it. Cause then I will remember. If, if it's pretty and I look at it, I'm like, oh my God, it's so pretty. But I know if I bring it home, it's not gonna be pretty for that long. Or I, it's, I'm gonna struggle with this and it's gonna give me problems so never mind <laughs> whenever i buy plants i try to like think it through and sometimes it's just it's so hard so what i do i put it in the cart and i just go around and i admire it and i act like it's mine 
and then I've, I, I, I don't know how that makes sense, but it works. I, it works for me. And then after a couple of, um, a couple of minutes, I get bored of it. <laughs> so I put it back and I'm like, yay, I saved money. <laughs> um, it wasn't like an impulse, but I guess I have that a lot, like especially back then. This one is really, really pretty. I, I, it's a, I, think, I think it's called a Moonlight Philodendron. Some, it's a Philodendron. I can never get its name right, name right, but look how big it is. And I've honestly had this one, it's about to be three years. Like, and you can see how we have it. <laughs> look at the back, but look at those leaves. Like, are you kidding? Oh, but let me tell you why I don't like it. <clears throat> it, for, first of all, for me having it for like almost three, about a bit, I don't even know how long. It's leaves. I mean, look how many leaves there is. I bought it, it was like in a, in a four inch pot. And um, yeah. Uh, what this is all I this is all I, all I got. We all know that there's some philodendrons that need a lot of humidity, so they could unfurl the, unfurl their leaves, and this is one of them. This one, it's already been about to be two or maybe even three months. What the hell? Now I know if I place it outside, it will grow like crazy and it will, it will thrive even more. But I have plants inside because I want them inside. <laughs> uh, well, that's, that looks kind of cute, actually. I want them inside, and sadly, a lot of the times plants don't want to be inside. They don't. They don't want to. <laughs> and you can like help them. You mess them. You can like in this case get a um a Q-tip and uh, with moisture on the tip of the cotton, and you just like you help it, and you keep messing it every day, or whatever, um, and letting it dry because. You don't want it to get mold but enough so it can like unfurl or you can put a humidifier next to it i know i can do that but um no i, I want plants that are easy to look after and give me because i like plants everybody has already different reasons i like plants because it, i like having something alive that sounds wrong i like having some green lush foliage in my home i want that jungle vibe but i don't want it to be i don't want to have so many finicky plants i can handle a few but not all the way through that i'm gonna be so busy looking after them and i know some people find that super duper satisfying looking after the plants i wish that was me i have my moments but it's very rare it's like once or twice a week that i'm like oh i got plants i'm gonna go to water them and clean their leaves and other kind of stuff um, once or twice, sometimes just once a week. And there's times when I have weeks where I don't get that little burst. And it's more outside than inside because outside is a lot easier. You can plop something in the ground. Um, you should know the kind of like that it needs. And you water it with with a watering hose without worrying any uh, worrying about the mess. And that's where I thrive, like outside, because I love that about that. Inside, you gotta worry about a lot of things, girl. Because Mother Nature is not there for it, so you gotta be Mother Nature. <laughs> and it's a lot of chores. So, um, yeah, I I love my plantitas, and obviously I'm still gonna keep them. I'm not gonna throw them away. If that was the case, I would've done it a long time ago. I do love my babies. It's, it's just, these are the plants that if I see them again, I actually have my thoughts through together and not have an impulse buy, then I wouldn't get it. Because I know I just, I had it and I didn't like taking care of it it was just way too much work um or it just didn't look like the way i wanted it to look or it, it doesn't grow the way i want it to grow um and that's okay and that's perfectly fine I i'm trying to like wrap this in a good note because <laughs> like i don't because i know some of these some of these plants are y'all's favorite and i don't want to offend anybody that's not what i'm trying to do i'm not trying to make any enemies <laughs> but it's the internet and there ain't nothing i can do about that but um, there's only so much i can do um but these are beautiful plants and then th these are your favorite and i'm i'm 1000 percent sure if you have any of these i bet they are thriving in your home especially they're your favorites because they must be getting that extra love and extra time or you probably are just really blessed and you have that environment where they love um i don't have a lot of that i don't have that <laughs> i i have the humidity but i don't have a lot of light <laughs> so um yeah and and that's okay and that's perfectly fine oh my god i want to eat so bad <laughs> i want food um but honestly i love my plants i can't say it enough they're my babies i love the foliage i just don't like the way it grows i i love how green it is but it looks like 
tree leaves. I, I don't like that. <laughs> if I want to see the audios, go outside. This one, I love the way they look. I lo it's also known as a UFO plant. This always happens, always happens. And uh, it's, it's very like, you need to, when it's thirsty, it's easy to look after, but when it's thirsty, you need to water it now. It's like, I'm thirsty, you're gonna give me water now. If not, I'm gonna put up a show. That's exactly what this does to me, and I don't like that. <laughs> the variegated maranta, she's a gorgeous, stunning plant. It honestly does pretty good in low light conditions, which is, which is what I love about it. But it does not take well tap water in my house. It, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. I mean, look at all those crispy leaves. If I guess if I chop it off and I clean the, the foliage and I put m more cuttings inside, or just simply cutting, it should promote more growth. And I only give it fish stick water. I'm pretty sure it'll look beautiful. But we're, we're gonna find out. Time time tells. Um, and then this beautiful plant over here. It's honestly so tropical, so lush. It gives you that beautiful jungle vibe. Very unique, beautiful shiny leaves. But it wants way more humidity. And if, if I add more in this house, it's gonna get nasty. So <laughs> um, those are the plants. I hope you guys enjoyed it to this new video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I rarely ever say that, but just because, like, you know, it's free and it helps the algorithm and you're helping me. And um, yeah, so that would be great. Also, let me know which, at least, if everybody has at least one. Or if you had one back then, but you think you changed your mind, let me know what it was back then. Like, what, 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 what plant? you regret buying, it could be Calathea, also succulents and cacti. I need to have a mealybug free zone if I bring those home. I have a light, I, I have windows that like, are getting a lot of light, but I know mealybug is gonna get it and after a week, if I don't see it, it's, it's infested. I love succulents though, but mealybugs, that's like their desserts. So <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>